Hey guys, what's up? I'm on Narts here, and today there's a tutorial on how to make a simple lighting setup in Cinema 4D that looks kind of like this. Uh, it's easy, but you get really good results, and you can put in it whatever you want to, and, and it's easy to do, but you might not know how to do it and make it look like this. So, let's X this out, minimize that, and let's do a new project in Cinema 4D. Uh, so first of all, just to get organized is what I usually do when I start a project. Take the rotator key here and just rotate it so the whole thing is centered. So you got that axis point in the center and you get something that looks like that. So it's completely centered. And then you're going to click on the four arrows uh, with the light in the center. And uh, hold it down and add a camera. And then um, once you got that camera, when you see a little black box uh, to the right where it says camera, just gonna click that so it turns white and that way you're seeing out of the camera. All I have to do is just uh, click a keyframe at the beginning of the animation and at the end of the animation. Well, we're not making an animation, I mean it's a timeline. Uh, but just this way the camera will lock on. You probably know this, but if you just rotate it like that, you can just click back on the camera and um, it will lock back on. But I don't really want to make this tutorial all about that, so if it's not working for you, just skip the step. It's not really necessary, but it's just pretty helpful. And for some quick render settings, I don't want to take too long on that. Just make your output 1280 by 720. Make sure you're on current frame. Uh, save it as a JPEG, unless you're making an animation. And let's just add aim and occlusion, which gives us some, for some really good shadows. And just put the maximum samples down to 80, which is a quicker render. And you can keep that the way it is. And effect. Uh, add a global illumination and click on this area dense Kachi and uh, put the two first two boxes to low and that pretty much wraps up render settings so now we're ready to go so let's start off by adding a cube which is going to be our room position it so it matches the bottom line so you might want to go into your four views to do that and you just want to position the bottom so it matches with the um, with the blue line and let's see you're gonna make the let's make the size X maybe 500 so for size X type in 500 um what else for size keep the size Y 200 let's make the size Z let's try 800 there we go we got that uh, nice looking box uh, which is going to be our room, but to see through it, because it looks like a cube right now, you're going to press C on your keyboard to make the cube editable. And then on these little tools on the left, you'll see the grid with the purple square in the left. So you're just going to click on that. And then you see you can click on each one of the segments in the cube. And just click on the one in the front, like that one, and just delete it. And now you got that nice looking room. If we click here, you can see it's a little bit off. So let's go back to our camera and just click the move tool and move it up a little bit. And then oops, maybe zoom in a little bit too. So we get something like looks like that. And then just re-keyframe the, uh, oops, I don't undo that. The fuck. Let me just redo that. But you're just gonna re-keyframe it so it locks onto that position because that's the position that you want. So delete those um delete those other keyframes. What the hell's going on? Yeah, but just delete the keyframe at uh, frame zero and frame ninety so it just locks on to uh that position right there. Delete the first one. Sorry, guys. Just going through some problems. All right, there we go. We got the camera that locks on on the view of the cube. So now, if you try moving your cube, you notice you're not able to move it. So to fix that little problem, you're going to right-click on your cube and click Group Objects. And now it's in a null object, so you can move it. Just edit and do that. Keep it the way it is. And we're already pretty much halfway there. We already got the room. And now pretty much all we really need is the lighting and just some nice text. So for the lighting, you're going to make another cube. 
And you're gonna want to go into your for to your four views, uh, so you have a more accurate view of where everything is. And let's edit some of these. Uh, let's make the size Y. This is gonna be like pretty much how thick your light is. So let's make that five. And then the size X. Put that to. Let's try twenty. And the size Z is how long your light is, so maybe 400. We'll do that will work. And cancel that. Now you're going to drag your light up like that. Actually, you don't have to do it yet, because before we do that, you're going to take your light and drag it into a cloner object. Take your cube and drag it into a cloner object. So click on Mode Graph and Cloner Object. And you're just going to drag that cube on into there. And this is going to pretty much clone the lights and once you're in your cloner object you're gonna click on mode and you're gonna do grid away grid array and for the second count put that to one and the third count put that to one also so now you just got three lights uh, that are spread apart evenly and if you're still in your four views or your quarter view go to your right view and or your front view and just move it align it to the top and now you got some things that look like lights, but if we render our image, oops, wrong render. Let's, see. Let's just render that. You'll see what, oh, you'll see that uh, nothing's happening, and that's because for global illumination to work, you need to add lights. And um, so the way you're gonna do that, you're gonna these three cubes are gonna be your lights. So double click in the materials tab and double click again to open the material and you don't need to change the color just check off luminance and put the brightness of that luminance to 200 and then if you change the color you're going to want it to be between green green and blue and then a little bit uh something looks like that and if you're curious about the numbers I have right here the R is 200 the G is 252 and the B is 255. So if you want to just uh, copy that down to make it the same, go ahead. So you're just going to drag that onto the cloner object. And now if you render, you're going to see it's going to illuminate the area. And really nice look. Kind of looks like a garage or kind of some garage lighting. It's pretty dark, but I think it's pretty nice. If you want to make the luminance maybe 300 you could try that but you have to understand that the luminance technically is actually 900 because you have three lights so if you're doing it with only one light then you would want to do 900 to get the same effect but there we go you got three cubes which are your lights put into a cloner object you got this room and that's pretty much it um, for the lighting setup but we can add some text so click on MoGraph text object and let's just align it to the middle Let's make that say, uh, it's a good word, uh, lighting, whatever, let's just try lighting, and try to find a nice looking font, let's try to be based, so let's make the height less so it will fit inside our room, give it a bit more depth, something like that, you might want to add some caps, so start fillet cap, and fillet cap, Bump the radius down to maybe two. Let's give it some steps so it got that so it has that nice rounded edge. And let's render it again real quick before adding some materials, just to see where we are. That actually might look uh, better than the image I already had for you guys. So just double click again for a new material and just uh, check off reflection, make that texture Fresnel and uh, let's put the brightness down to maybe 10%, mix strengths down to maybe 30% and maybe give it 4% blur, four percent blurriness. Let's just drag that onto the lighting text and render our image because that way you get to reflect the nice lights you have will reflect off of the uh, text.
So there you go, guys. That's my tutorial. Uh, pretty easy lighting, simple lighting setup, but obviously great results. And you could probably use this on an intro. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Maybe you could add some concrete to these walls. But I just want to end this tutorial. Keep it simple. Keep it to the essentials. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe uh, because I'm not making these tutorials for nothing. And thanks, guys. Have a nice day.